Hello all, welcome to Get Into IAS and in this video we are going to deal with the last 5 years prelims questions related to environment. So let's deal with the 2018 questions. So the first question is relating to which of the following leaf modification occurs in the desert areas to inhibit water loss. So the first option given here is hard and waxy leaves, tiny leaves, thorns instead of leaves. So they are asking you to select the correct statement. Under this you should note that in a desert ecosystem the temperature will be very high and the plants get adopted to reduce the evapotranspiration that is the transpiration from the leaves or the stomata. And then the escaping of water through leaves should be reduced and hence all the plants in the desert ecosystem will have either tiny leaves or then thorn leaves or then hard and waxy leaves. So accordingly all the three answers are correct that is the option D is correct for this question. So moving to the next question. So how is the National Green Tribunal different from the Central Pollution Control Board? So how is NGT different from CPCB? First question is the NGT has been established by an act whereas the CPCB has been created by an executive order of the government. You should know this very well. So we have dealt with NGT in our videos. Under that, NGT was brought under the Act only. What Act? The National Green Tribunal Act of 2010. So that option is correct. But then when coming to the CPCB, they are telling us it is created by an executive order. But CPCB also was brought under an Act and not an executive order. So what is the Act? So the CPCB was brought under the Act that is the Water Prevention and Pollution Control Act of 1974. So the first option is wrong because CPCB was also brought under the Act. And then second thing, the NGT provides environmental justice and helps reduce the burden of litigation in the higher courts, whereas the CPCB promotes cleanliness of streams and wells and aims to improve the quality of the air in the country. First thing, NGT is always for the speedy justice related to environmental problems. But then, even in the NGT, the results given by the NGT can be challenged in the Supreme Court and only in the Supreme Court. And what does the CPCB do? CPCB will promote the cleanliness of streams and wells as in the Water Prevention Pollution Control Act. It also maintains the quality of air according to Air Prevention and Pollution Control Act of 1981. So in this question, the option B is the correct answer. That is two only. And then moving to the third one. The term sixth mass extinction or the sixth extinction is often mentioned in the news in the context of what? So they have given four options. If you read all the four options, we already know about the fifth mass extinction or the five mass extinction that has happened earlier. So what is the mass extinction? It is the extinction of mass of species from our earth. That is, we already had five mass extinction. That is the mass removal of some species from our earth. And the sixth mass extinction is related to the human activities. So option D, mankind's overexploitation, misuse of natural resources, fragmentation, loss of natural habitat, destruction of ecosystems, pollution and global climate change. All this is caused by human activity. So this is called as sixth mass extinction. Moving to the next question, which of the following statement best describes carbon fertilization? So if you read all the option, the option A that is increased plant growth due to increased concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So because of too much of carbon dioxide being produced because of human activities, it causes global warming. This global warming helps the growth of plant in a lot and hence researchers have said that the plant or the crop yield has increased because of carbon fertilization. That is, the carbon fertilization is the more amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere which the plants intake during photosynthesis and grow rapidly. So the option A is the right answer. Then moving to the next question. The Partnership for Action on Green Economy, PAGE, a UN mechanism to assist countries transition towards greener and more inclusive economies emerged at what? So, there is an option called as PAGE, that is the Partnership for Action on Green Economy. So, what is its aim? 
greener and more inclusive economy. So they have given four options over here. So the correct option is option B, the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development 2012 held at Rio de Janeiro under this only the PAGE initiative came that is the partnership for action on green economy. So under this there are two aims growing greener and then inclusive economy. So, so it was brought in 2012 Rio de Janeiro meet. Next one in which of the following states is Pakui Wildlife Sanctuary located. So there are four options Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Nagaland. So accordingly the Pakui Wildlife Sanctuary is located in Arunachal Pradesh. Why was this in news? Because this Pakui Wildlife Sanctuary got India Biodiversity Award. So it got India Biodiversity Award in 2016 for Hornbill Conservation. So they have conserved a lot of hornbill in their wildlife sanctuary and hence it got the India Biodiversity Award in 2016. That's why it was in news. And then the next question is consider the following statements. First one, the definition of critical wildlife habitat is incorporated in the Forest Rights Act 2006. So the definition for critical wildlife habitat is incorporated in the Forest Rights Act of 2006. So yes, it is definitely mentioned in the Forest Rights Act of 2006. What is mentioned? Critical wildlife habitat. Second one, for the first time in India, bigers have been given habitat rights. So who are these bigers? Baigas are tribes in Madhya Pradesh and these tribes recently they have got the habitat rights. And then the third one, the Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change officially decides and declares habitat rights for primitive and vulnerable tribal groups in any part of India. So they are telling Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change is giving the rights, it declares the habitat rights from primitive and vulnerable tribal groups. So we have already dealt with this. It is not the Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. It is the state government on the recommendation of the Gram Sabha gives the rights that is the habitat rights for the primitive and vulnerable tribes. So the option 3 is wrong and option A 1 and 2 only is the correct answer. So the next question is why is a plant called Prosopis juliflora often mentioned in news. So the first option says it extracts it's widely used in cosmetics. Second one it tends to reduce the biodiversity in the area in which it grows. Third one its extract is used in the synthesis of pesticides D none of the above. So the correct answer for this is first let's see the background of Prosopis juliflora. It is an invasive species. In local terms it is called as Simai Karuvelam which was found abundantly in Tamil Nadu. So the government took measures to wash away this invasive species because it started killing the biodiversity of that area and it started taking a lot of groundwater and thereby not leaving the other plants to grow in that area. So from this explanation you would have very well understood that option B is exactly suiting the question. So the Prosopis juliflora it tends to reduce the biodiversity in the area in which it grows. And the next question, consider the following statements. Most of the world's coral reefs are in the tropical water. That's why it is called as tropical coral reefs. Second one, more than one third of the world's coral reefs are located in the territories of Australia, Indonesia and Philippines. Yeah, the option is definitely correct because more than one third of the coral reefs are present in Australia, Indonesia, Philippines, France and Papua New Guinea. So in all these five regions, the coral reefs are found. So the coral reefs are of shallow type and deep water also. The shallow type contains chlorophyll, but then the deep water corals doesn't contain the chlorophyll and hence they stay in the cold water. So the second option is also correct. Moving to the third option, coral reefs host far more number of animal phyla than those hosted by the tropical rainforest. Yeah, so when you compare the tropical rainforest with the coral reefs, definitely the coral reefs contain more animal phyla when compared to the tropical rainforest. So all the three options are correct. So D is the correct answer.